everyone on YouTube, Geosan right here. Today we're discussing about a brand new update for the Sheena A12 jailbreak for iOS 15.0 up to 15.1.1 on all devices. This works on iPhone 10 XS, 10 XS Max, 10R, 11, 12, whatever. So this jailbreak just received an update yesterday. Sheena 520 posted a link for the IPA file and basically the hash of the download so you can verify it. And it appears that the changelog is this one over here, a new UI design. Then it reduces the chance of pink screen restarts by preventing applications from loading automatically and adjusted the logout and soft restart mechanisms. Apparently that's all, that's the entire thing. And somebody in here that I've blocked says, damn, a month to fix two bugs? They do not know how hard jailbreak development is, trust me. Anyway, yes, this works on iOS 15.0 up to 15.1.1. Those are pretty old by now, but we still don't have a proper jailbreak for those versions, especially on A12+, plus, so this one does work for that. This jailbreak does have tweaks, you're able to have tweaks with it, you're able to have silly you can install files and stuff like that. And you can get it either from Shina520 over here by pressing this link. It's also available here on a GitHub on Shina520 official jailbreak here on releases, version 1.1.7.1 at the moment. And you can also get it here on my website on jailbreak downloads. There is a page containing every single jailbreak for all iOS versions and stuff like that. And here is the Shina520 jailbreak. You can press on it and you will get the IPA file. So that's basically it. But there is a weird bug that I have. This is the brand new UI. This is how it's supposed to look like and it's a great UI it finally looks like a proper chill break so this is supposed to be the new UI that you get with the version 1.1.7.1 but this is the UI that I get when I install the application kind of the same thing but a lot of things are missing including the background image the logo some of the buttons in here are missing and some of them are glitching out over there due to constraints so yeah if anybody else is having this issue please let me know apparently for the moment I am the only one having this issue with the jailbreak everybody else seems to be getting this UI, which is the correct one. So yeah, definitely a weird glitch. But yeah, if you're running Shina A15 or Shina A12 jailbreak, it has multiple names at this point, definitely go ahead and update to this version. Because aside from the new UI, you also get two important changes. The fact that it reduces the chance for a pink screen restart and the adjustment for the logout and soft restart mechanisms. There are a couple of additional notes in here. Reinstall the jailbreak environment before jailbreaking with the new version. It's important to know that there are people who have reported that once they installed this, they lost all their tweaks and themes. I would recommend you to back them up and go ahead and reinstall the jailbreak environment or basically do a rootfs restore, but it's not called that in this jailbreak. It's important to have a clean environment and do not update the bootstrap packages. Very important, very very important, you will break something. Do not go ahead in Cilio and update the bootstrap packages. There will be packages that need updating, don't update those. Only update your tweaks that you have installed. The base binaries, don't update those for the moment it can break something. But yeah, that's basically it. The update is out. The IPA file is available. You can sideload it with sideloadly or altstore or whatever you want. And it works on 15.1.1 and lower on A12 plus devices. So all the modern devices. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Peace out.